The Catholic Diocese of Sioux City released a list of 28 priests that it says were credibly accused of sexually abusing minors. Only one of those priests is still living in Iowa. KCCI's Hannah Hilliard is in the newsroom tonight to tell us who he is. Well, Stephen Stacy, his name is John Patrick Purdue. The Diocese of Sioux City will not confirm where he lives, but we know he was a priest at a Carroll church in the 80s. The years that they served in this parish. In so a news conference Monday, the Diocese of Sioux City released a list of 28 names. Those names, priests credibly accused of sexual abuse. Scrolling through, most are dead or living outside the state. But one, John Patrick Purdue, is still alive and still living in Iowa. The diocese says he was assigned to the St. Lawrence Parish in Carroll for just a year from 1985 to 1986. We've known about this for a long time. Uh, so this really isn't anything new. It, Patrick it Hopkins is a West Des Moines based attorney who represents clergy abuse survivors. He represented Purdue's victim in a lawsuit first filed in 2008. Court documents say the abuse occurred while Purdue was a seminary student in 1982 and 1983. The documents say Purdue performed a sex act on an 18 year old. It says the victim, quote, told Purdue to stop because he was very uncomfortable, but Purdue continued until the victim broke down sobbing. It wasn't uh, a, a radically different situation than almost all of these cases in that it was alleged that uh, there was a grooming process and then abuse and then, uh, you know, a process of repression uh, by a Catholic youth who himself had to come to terms with you know, abuse by a trusted authority figure. The diocese says they released this information to assure victims they believe them. But Hopkins says there are more than just 28 names. They're much higher, much higher, as are the number of victims. Now these are just allegations. There were never any charges. The victim's case against Purdue made it to the Iowa Court of Appeals where they said it was not within the statute of limitations. His attorneys asked the Iowa Supreme Court to take it up, but they did not.